Moin and welcome to the links. I know, I know, you're all waiting impatiently for Cordelia's brother Aaron, but my plans for him changed and so I am now waiting for the doll that should be him to arrive. Until then, let's give the ones we already have some love. You know that my lovely little fish guy Sky is one of my dearest dolls. He is a Logan Dolls V head on a doll leaf's body and was my first fantasy BJD out of my doll world Erinor. Check out his video if you don't know what I'm talking about. I'll link it in the description. You know him as this handsome fella, but today he looks uh, like this. Yes, I wiped him to give him not only a new face up, but also some modifications. His tail is a little too loose for my taste, so we're gonna change that. Moreover, I was thinking a little more about his species and decided that they don't have any hairs on their bodies. His previous face up had little eyebrows, so that's why I'm changing him. But only a new face up would not be enough, so I talked to Logan about my plans and decided to give him some facial modifications too. Story wise, every Ushige goes through some physical changes when they grow up, and Sky had now reached an age where exactly this happened. That's also the reason why he was gone for such a long time. It's kind of a magical puberty where they have to go back to their birthplace underwater. I will explain the whole culture and life cycle in a little more detail on my world website. It will take a few more months until that goes online for everybody, but I'm working on it. Back to the doll. To make Sky look a little more adult, I added some scales to his face with my beloved epoxy sculpt. A face without eyebrows looks quite strange to me, so I had to add these instead of hairs. While that was drying, I continued with the body. Last time I painted his gills on with pastels and watercolor, and now I wanted to make them as actual 3D gills sculpted on his body. I feel way more comfortable with these expensive dolls now, so changing them a little more drastically was no longer something terribly frightening. Drilling the hole for the tail into his body was horrible for me back then, and now I'm even sculpting on top of that, <laughs> attaching the first tail piece permanently. Ah oh well, things change, right? To have a good base for the paint, I sprayed the doll with a mixture of water and Liquitex matte medium. After that, I mixed some acrylic paints to match his skin tone as close as possible. Well, in my opinion, I did a pretty decent job. <laughs> what do you think? One more layer of Liquitex matte medium and onto the pastels. One side of his face took the colors better than the other one, which was a little strange, but well, imperfections do give a doll a character, right? Instead of only blues, I wanted to be a little more brave this time and added some orangey browns to the face as well. I really did like these tones together and it gave me better options on color choices. The dark desaturated brown I used for the horns back then came in very handy for dark shadow areas now. Already looks older, right? <laughs> Some details with gouache paint like the pearl blue of his scales or the white around his eyes. Just like the first face up. He's still sky after all. I then gave him a finishing coat of Mika Powder Shimmer since he is a water creature and sealed everything with Mr. Super Clear Sealant and Liquitex Matte Varnish. His gills got the same treatment and even though I did not want to give him body blushing at first, well you see for yourself. <laughs> Since BJDs get dressed and undressed quite regularly, paint chips easily and so I kinda wanted to not have this problem, you know? But obviously I couldn't resist painting him. I just sealed it with multiple layers of sealant and hope for the best now. me, 
I couldn't resist making him new eyes, of course. Instead of completely blue ones, I added some bronze shimmer this time to match his new color palette and I love them. Another exciting thing were these hands that I bought on Etsy. Well, I did not bought the hands, but the printing file and printed them on my resin 3D printer. These are basically the same hands he already had, but now they're wet. I thought that makes a lot more sense for a sea creature. Originally, my plan was to turn them into magnetic hands that I could easily switch out. I did work quite hard on making that work, painted all the hands carefully, sanded every piece a thousand times and so on. It worked fine for the pictures, but now I printed them again and will attach them as they are without magnets. The hold was just not strong enough, not even a bit. <laughs> Other than that, I love him so much. I loved him before, but now even more. If you saw my last little wig making video, you know that I also tried making him a new wig, which was a fail, <laughs> but I will try that again once I have enough time. Until then, he keeps his super long hair. So, what do you think? How will the girls react when Sky comes back after all this time looking so different? Do you still recognize him? Well, I'm sure you do. Let me know in the comments what you think of his new look. Thank you so so much for watching my little lynxes. I hope you liked this little video and are happy to have our fish guy back. Have a wonderful day and thank you so so much for all your amazing support. See you soon! Cheers!